loved Myrtle so much. She was so awesome. And with the theremin, you were the funniest part of the yes. theremin. The theremin was a really cool thing to, re to learn how to play. So you learned how to play? Yeah, well, I, there I was playing, so yeah. You know, they can make up. But I mean, like, well, you know, I mean, it, was, it was silent, but I had to match what the sound would be. I mean, I had to learn how to do it. All right. I mean, it's an amazing instrument. You're playing air. Yeah. And, and you really are playing it. If you hit the wrong spot in the air, you're flat or sharp or you're the wrong note. It's amazing. Funny. Yeah, she was so funny. funny. Myrtle she was, was a trip. She was a trip. <laughs> but then last season, you also were, you were like this beautiful intro. Yeah. Guest. Wonderful yeah. characters. Yeah. Like, are you like now thinking, okay, freak show, I want to get us laid up? I, I have no idea. I just can't go there. I'm trying to rest. We okay. were away for six months. All I want to do is rest. And then right. when we start up, well, whatever we have to do, we'll do. So you're not like watching Todd Brown's freaks or preparing yourself? No, in any I'm way? just. No? being very neutral and letting my mind rest. I think that's a good thing to do. Because it sounds like a show, as you're saying, it's taxing. It is emotionally taxing. Is it just a grueling schedule? What is it that... Well, you know, you do a shit show for six months and it's hard. You're yeah. staying up to four in the morning or you're yeah. getting up at four in the morning. You're and, being set on fire. And you're, you're being set on fire. <laughs> You know, it's tiring. You've got lights on you and people coming up to you with powder. It's tiring. Yeah, and especially you have these characters who are bland up. Well, you know, it's hard on everybody. But the nice crew is there. You can always say hi to somebody on the crew, and that's good. Okay. And then, can you tell me... Well, the thing is, you can't really tell me anything about what's coming up for a freak show. Oh, we don't know. You don't know. No, we don't know a thing. When you get a script, do they give you any kind... This is what I know for the week, and I don't know what's coming next. I mean, is it really oh, no, you that... you never know anything. Really? You just wait for the next script to come. So you just know, maybe when it's contract very, very negotiations say you're very leaving? like in the moment of, oh, okay, that's what we're doing this week. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Do you like that? Let's do you learn like... the lines. Oh, yeah, it's great. Really? It's like life. You don't know what's going to happen next week. And you can't, you just, you can't prepare. You just go with the flow. Well, you, you learn your lines and you figure out what you're doing. All right. It's very interesting. Okay. And can you tell me, is there anything that you, I mean, you were saying before that animals in a circus, that is not okay with you. I know that's a big issue for a lot of people, especially with Barnum and Bailey having animals. Do you just, is that kind of your line in the sand? You don't want animals? If you were a tiger, would you like to be in a circus no. or an elephant? No. Oh, so there you go. Okay. That's it. <laughs> That's simple. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.